Hello everyone, Scotty White, welcome at Sports Man. Introduce to the fight fans who you are. Uh, my name is Jaleel Hackett, and um, soon to be Mayweather Promotions fighter. Out hey. of Washington, D.C. You mentioned Mayweather Promotions, man. What they see in you, man, upcoming, rising, young hitter in the game, man. What they see to you, um, think about signing you? They see, they see stardom. They see stardom. They see verbatim, verbatim letter. He said, man, he said, I see, I see big things. I don't see just a fighter. I see a mega star. And he really touched me with that one. It made me want to work harder. And the more, the harder I work, the more interest they were in me. And now we're at the point where we're about to sign the deal with. Him. Can you tell me how long you've been a part of the sport, man? When did you start taking up the sport and training? Uh, I started boxing when I was eight. And I like, I got serious about it when I was about 10 when I started to go to the national tournaments and win them. It was real nice. So that's, at that, at that turn 10, that was when I really started to take boxing serious. And I knew I wanted to do it as a career. There's a lot of energy out here in the streets talking about you, man. You know, um, before you even really blossom in the, into that star, you already got people talking about you. So how did that make you feel? How do you handle all that energy, man? Well, I always just continue to work hard. It's, and because at the end of the day, hard work made, got me where I am now. But if I stop working hard, then I could quickly go right back to the bottom. So you've been, you know, in the professional ranks. What what weight class are you plan on contending at, man? Uh, starting out at 140. It's looking like 140. So what's one of your strong suits at 140 that you feel, being that you are rising from, um, you know, entry into boxing? What is one of your strong suits, man? That you like to go to? I feel like. I'm one of the large. I'm gonna be one of the larger fighters at 140. So I, I, my ability to walk them down and get them out of there early would be there. What you like to go to? You know, you fight orthodox, right? Yeah. So what do you like to go to? Hook, jab. I know you. Uh, your fundamentals are, are sharp. Yeah, I use my left hook to set up the left left hook to the body. So it's it's kind of like a it's like a quick like touch to the head, get them bring the hand up, then rip it to the body. Have you been up there in Vegas to train yet? Oh, yes. Okay, how has that been for you? Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Nice energy out there. Plenty of work. How was it the first time, man? You know, you going out there to the TMT. I saw yeah, you with the TMT hat. You go out there, there's a lot of oohs and ahs, but then you got to go in there and work. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, right now, you're down here for this particular fight week. You know, who you out here to support, man? Man, I got Tank getting them at eight. Okay. That's 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 right around where I got it, eight or nine. You know what I'm saying? Like eight because based on how camp been going, you know, he he did a lot of boxing in camp this camp. So he gonna he gonna make a run into a shot and it's gonna be like a vicious knockout. Might be one be one of them type knockout of the year type knockouts, in my opinion. You think Gamboa's gonna be able to handle that, that body work tank might put on an early man being thirty seven years old? I don't know. I don't know, because me personally I've been in the ring with that man yeah. and that man can yeah. That, it don't matter. Eight ounce gloves, sixteen ounce gloves, twenty <laughs> yeah. ounce gloves. That mag of punch. So, so you got eight rounds. Who else? Who else? You um, you know, on the card. Uh, you got man. It's almost the whole Baltimore in there. You got. Oh, okay. You know all the Baltimore yeah. fighters: Malik yeah, Hawkins, Malik Moore, Kareem Malik Martin, Hawkins, yeah, Remo. Man, they gonna put on the show. And oh, I almost forgot. Got Killer B, Mia Ellis. She yeah. Her pro debut. Yeah, yeah Killer B was, make her pro, pro debut, man. And um, Kenny Ellis' daughter, of course. Yeah, that's she gonna, gonna be put big. On the show. People, yeah, I know a lot of people know her, but she's really gonna let you know who she is Saturday night. That's good. You giving a shout out, man. I see the videos that's up there um, in training. You know, up in gym of her holding the mitts. So she's been around the game yeah, from what her around, dad say for a while. Than me. Yeah, than me. So yeah, you you. A lot of people know her, but even more people gonna know her after Saturday night. True words, man. What can your fans follow you on social media, man? Oh, you can follow me on Instagram at Jalil underscore Hackett. Follow me on Twitter, Jalil underscore Hackett. And on Facebook, I'm Jalil Major Hackett. Final words to your fight fans out there, man. On the rise. You know, let them know you're on the rise, man. Man, I'm definitely on the come up, man. Y'all, y'all go. I know a lot of y'all know who I am, but give it a year. I'm going to have everybody's attention. For sure, young warrior. Hey, salute from World Combat Sports, man. Best wishes on your career, man. Definitely, man. Thank you.